Welcome back to the Retro Sports Gamer channel. I'm continuing the quest to see if there's any college basketball games worth playing in our tournament in March. So NCAA 07 gets the call. Uh, Mort really doesn't want to play College Slam again, so he went to Goodwill, picked up some games. He said, here, play these. Let's see how they are. So out of the three he got, this one intrigued me the most. It's NCAA 07. It's got... Uh, Adam Morrison on the cover there, which was a bust in the NBA. So I think the two teams that I'm going to go with here are the Florida Gators. They had a bunch of, this is when they won two uh, NCAA titles in a row. How's it going, Octavius? How's it going, Deontay? Oh, we got it scroll through all these classic teams that's pretty cool that they have those in this game oh man I'm just going the wrong way we got all these all so let me get back over there Florida versus what was the team I had in mind well Adam Morrison's not in the game he would have graduated yeah the Gators have Joakim Noah Horford Corey Brewer Oh, versus Ohio State, because they got Connolly and Greg Oden. That's who I wanted to go up against. What's up, Shallow Bay? Yeah, <laughs> Mort. Morrison probably had a few joints in his day. I wouldn't doubt it. Sorry that this takes so long. It's probably a quicker way to do it, but I got this down. Florida Gators versus Ohio State. Yeah, some some game cover athletes they just don't make it in the in the pros. Got two free rings in the NBA. Yeah, with the Lakers. What's up, Metal Face Doom? All right, here we go. We'll put the Buckeyes at home. So I'm going with the number one team, I guess. All conference press box view. That's what I like to go with. Not the vertical view where it does 360. That's just not how the games were when I started playing. So to make that transition, not feeling it. Deontay Trippin visiting the garbage can. What's up, Antonio? So let's get the team names in there. We'll see if OSU Rocks comes in the stream. He would like to see this one. College basketball with Ohio State. What's up, Infamous Smoke? Two for four double cheeseburgers. I tried to get in some March Madness 2004 the other night but it froze on me twice I'm guessing it's the game and uh, not the system because I don't have I haven't had issues with any other game in quite a while but yeah getting over a cold a little bit that's why I didn't do any like NBA all-star streams that I plan to do so finally feeling a little bit better. Had a moment. So that's what we're doing. This game says featured by ESPN on the cover. I guess they have some radio shows and stuff. But of course they don't show any of the ESPN graphics or anything. Daquan Cook. Yeah, that's another one. I don't know why we're intentional fouling to begin the game. But okay. Two fouls right off the, the bat. <laughs> what are these guys doing? I'm not even pressing any buttons. Let's calm down. You only get five fouls in a college game. Oh, Odin's just a monster. Shelby 
place games. Uh, a little bit of slowdown there on the spin moves. And he missed a floater. And they're coming out strong. The Buckeyes are not messing around. I forgot the shooting guard's name on this Florida team. There's Horford putting it down. Still playing in the NBA. Hackershack logic? I guess so. With Odin. Let him shoot some free throws. Yep, it worked, Mort. Thanks for joining us. It doesn't look much different from the previous years. I mean, 2004 to me looked pretty much similar. Oh, Horford with a huge block. They got all the icons that show you what the players are good at, just like the NBA Live and other NCAA games. I think some guys just look older than they are. I mean, I've, I've known some people personally who kind of look like that. I did not watch the All-Star game. I was out for the season that day. I saw a few highlights at the end of the game, and that's about it. I'm surprised the Giannis team was that close. No, oh, come on. Joe Kim's wide open. Oh, Joe Kim. One thing I could say about this is the, the way the net reacts to the ball is much cleaner than I've seen in other uh, NC or other EA Sports basketball games. So they did improve that. These guys are not playing. It was wrong. I missed out. Did they actually play? I mean, I tried to watch it a couple years ago and... They weren't even playing. It was just out them out there showboating. So far, not a good showing on all conference. I look ugly. Yeah, the fourth quarter was super intense. I'm glad they at least played the fourth. They're just scoring at will. I should have two shot blockers down there, but it's not looking like that's the case right now. Uh, kind of an ugly runner. You know, what you got to do in this is you got to switch off between circle and square. I hit circle, which is the shoot button. That's why I did the runner. Wow. Odin's just unstoppable. Oh, here we go, Corey Brewer. Get him involved. Stunking on somebody. Corey Brewer was really quick and athletic. But he kind of had like a little bit of out of control athleticism, was the best way I could put it. Oh, no. I had it. Horford just working the glass. Six McDoubles in my day? No. I think the most I did was like five cheeseburgers on 39 cent cheeseburger day. Never did, uh, never did that many. My friend Clint, who it's actually his birthday today, he did the same thing. He had like five or six cheeseburgers on the, the day when we were younger and he ended up puking in the bathroom before he even left. Yeah, I mean, McDonald's, not the best stuff to be eating. Tastes good, but, you know, broomsticks for arms. The national anthem, Clarence Parker, how's it going? Come on. He tries to knock down the three. Way off target. Does anyone remember the shooting guard's name from this Florida team and the point guard? I remember they're like fringe NBA players. I mean, you're 
the body's not meant for five double cheeseburgers. This is kind of hard. They shoot. They zoom out and make me shoot the free throws like that. I hit them anyways. After high school basketball games, my dad would get me four Mighties and two El Nino Mighty Tacos. Three pounds of beef in that mess. Yeah. My friend Anthony used to pound Taco Bell like that. Just throwing them down. You know, the, the good thing is, luckily, when you're younger, you can get away with doing that. You do that when you're a little bit older, you won't make it to work the next day. He makes the second shot. Trying to feed inside. Odin's. I don't know what happened to Odin in the big three, but he just didn't hack it. I did see the draft of that, and I'm not really into big three basketball. I think it's a pretty neat concept because all these guys have huge name recognition, but just not that interested in half-court basketball. Brewer dunking. Torian Green, yes. Now you only eat half a pot of brown rice. Open man in the post as the ball goes out oh. to the wing. And he's big no time rebound. Downtown. Oh Horford. Yeah, if you get in there and go for dunk, they're they're getting them. Deontay's not a fan of uh big three either. Walter Hodge was number fifteen. Thanks for that knowledge smoke. Whole sheet of pizza, no problem. I could do I could still do a a whole frozen pizza. That's not too bad. Got a guy right on it. Oh, just dunking. I do like the dunk animations in this game. I always err on the side of the game being more offensive. It's just more fun that way than like constant fouls and stuff. So you get in there and press the square button. Chances are you're going to dunk on someone. And force that one out of bounds. Individuals way, way past their primes. Big three. Maurice Spates, I think, was on that team. Oh, on Florida? Mo Spates, Mo Buckets. Oh, a whole sheet of pizza in Buffalo, 24 slices. And that's packing it. Oh, that time he actually altered the shot, but he still made it. Florida, you like Florida smoke? Yeah, they were fun to watch. Billy Donovan is the coach. I think why they went three on three. Some of the players are older. It gives wear and tear on a player. Oh, I was reading the chat. Full court shooter, physical more important. Yeah. I mean, I understand why they did it. It's just not, I guess, not that entertaining for me. If it was on regular TV, I probably would give it a shot every once in a while just to see what's going on. But it's kind of interesting that Joe Johnson got a shot with the Pistons after he played in Big Three, even though he didn't make the team. <laughs> Them old guys would. Big three would drop dead trying to play full court. Okay, I'm reading the chat and it's hurting my play, but gotta do it. Joe Kim Noah. Oh yeah, he's a big time basher. No, we don't do the the rectangle pizza in Chicago. We got our own thing going, deep dish. Thin crust pizza that's really thick. You know, it's not like New York where the pizza just 
you have to fold it in half. It's so sloppy. I hate that. Chicago Thin Crust. It's actually got some thickness in to it. Sometimes they have the cracker crust, but it, one thing I can tell you is it's not going to bend when you pick it up. And that's probably where you got that wheat allergy pounding a whole rectangle pizza. Lamelo Ball, number one draft pick, you think so? I don't know about that. But it could be wrong. Oh, no, that's... Oh, we stripped him. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about New York style. I guess if you grow up eating it, you grow accustomed to it, but it's just messy to eat. Rogue Gamer making a guest appearance. Good to see you, Rogue Gamer. Big 300 pounder. Here we go. Mort doesn't like that college slam. Especially on Sega Saturn. He thinks it's a terrible game. Oh. First bucket of the game for number 12. I haven't tried the Popeye's chicken sandwich. I actually don't. I haven't ate meat in like eight years. I eat mock chicken sandwiches, but <laughs> the Popeye's one, no. But there was a lot of hype surrounding the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Really, the combo that I like is buffalo and ranch. That is the combo right there. When I first started dating my wife, we went on a Hooters tour of America. I'm sure you guys know what Hooters is because just got those drumsticks. That's right. Yeah, well, it's actually nine now. But yeah, I mean, I used to smash a one hot dog eating contest before. <laughs> Average Joe won, of course. The most I ate was 12, but I won it three years in a row. But uh, yeah, the meat, uh, it's, not the it's not the best choice for me. What's up, Sean? Yeah, NFL fever. I, I don't think you'll be disappointed as long as you change the controls. You'll be fine. It's fun game to play. I actually want to go back to that game. 2020 draft. Anthony Edwards, Mamel Cole, Anthony. Oh, we're making steals reading the chat. That's what I like. NFL Blitz of Barstool. The, they mentioned it on their podcast. All right, I'm going to try to get this in. My wife's on the way home with food. I'm trying to sneak in a stream here. <laughs> Clarence, four years without meat. Nice, man. Yeah, it's really not that hard. I mean, my favorite food was pizza. And Chicago has such good pizza, you just leave off the meat, and then it was easy to... Easy to get it started. He goes to the line. Terrible free throw. That's right, yeah, Matt is too. Number twelve is called for the foul. Sean, I do have College Hoops 2K8 on PS2. Um I think it's gonna be a zone 
points against this defense. People were telling me that what you were probably referring to is on 360 or PlayStation 3, but I looked for it at the game store I went to on Saturday, and they had it on PS2. And since I play a lot of PS2, it was a it was a natural fit. We're gonna see how it is on there, and I liked College Hoops 2K8, so I'm expecting good things. But eventually, I'll after playing it, I'll have to pick up the one on 360. Or, I have PS3, so I probably won't pick it up on 360. Um, Astros cheating scandal is pretty bad. Baseball keeps shooting itself in the foot. I mean, there's, it seems like there's just no honor in the sport. You know there's always cheating and refs cheating for the team and everything like that. But, man, baseball, the players cheating, gambling, it's just it's crazy. If there's an NFL Blitz tournament, of course. Barstool, I don't know. I don't know if I would go. It just depends. Uh... Green Magic and DPS both told me it was a wild atmosphere for that Barstool Sports Chicago. Um, towards the end, there was a lot of trash talking from the Barstool Sports guys to them because they were actually in the finals. So they had to overcome a lot, but you know they were easily the best players there, so no surprise that they won. <laughs> wild is an understatement. I don't know, like, the thing I always liked about sports growing up is I always felt like it was one of the purest things that you could be a fan of. But as I've gotten older, I realized that even sports aren't completely pure. You know, it's unfortunate. There's still a lot of talented athletes out there. It's fun to watch. But, um, you know, some of these games are, wow, that's a flagrant getting a fight some of these games and the outcomes playing versus people I mean that's more pure than some of the stuff you watch on TV when it comes to sports Astros or Patriots Oof, that's a tough one um, I would say the, the Patriots like videotaping thing years back is worse The, the deflating footballs, though, that was kind of media-driven because you talked to a lot of quarterbacks, and the, the players, I think Aaron Rodgers said it on a radio show, that they get to condition the balls before, like the whole week, before they use them in the game, and each team has their own balls. So, you know, basically he's saying, like, all the teams were doing that. Yeah, Donahue exposing the gambling and how he was kind of like being framed by a guy. And it, it's pretty obvious to me. Like, the XFL's fun, and I like watching it, but they're putting, like, the betting lines on the screen. Like, that's going to be a big part of it. Because gambling is becoming legal, it seems like nationwide pretty soon just like cannabis so things are changing we'll see how the gambling thing pans out <laughs> yeah rogue gamer that that might be true i mean there's just some certain things that i see in sports where i'm like man that was really fishy i think the last time I really thought something was, was fishy in the NFL was uh, when Diggs got that touchdown against the Saints and that, that defensive back just basically like jumped out of the way. I don't know what was up with that. All sports are BS unless you have a franchise going in 
NCAA or one of these games. Well, that's the thing, like, so everyone knows that WWE's fake, wrestling's fake, and I always argue that the wrestling video games are, are sports because there's not a determined outcome. You're, you're actually just fighting the other guy with wrestling moves. So those are sports, but, you know, if you, if you think about some of the other sports where the outcomes might be determined, it's like the same thing. So just playing the actual video game is more of a real outcome than some of these games, I guess is what I'm saying. Let's go back to the 90s. I do... Uh, I do agree with that too, Smoke. I think the same thing. I th and it's not really even... The fights are more real for sure. I mean, they're beating the crap out of each other. But UFC is kind of like just graduated WWE. It's like, okay, well, if you think about it, wrestling was one of the first things on TV. I asked my grandpa this. And then eventually people figured out it was fake, like, around the 90s. So what did they do? They just amped it up with UFC, made it more real fighting. But some of those outcomes got to be fixed, too. And I'm kind of blowing this as I'm going through some of these opinions on sports. But, like, Brock Lesnar... Coming in UFC. But then, you know, what really made me think it was like wrestling was my when my friend Ben lived with me. He was watching all the hype videos for... Um, what's the Irish dude's name? McGregor. Conor McGregor. Like him and Mayweather. It was just like months of hype. It's like, what the heck is this? Is, is this fighting or is this like just WWE 24-7? Joe Kim at the line. Joe Kim with one of the more uglier free throw shots you'll ever see, but a lot more pretty effective for a big guy. Roman gladiator fights. Now that. Now we're talking. Or Mortal Kombat fight to the death. One of the arguments we wanted to have on the channel is like. Um, fighting games are sports games because they're. They're kind of like the original sport. He spins into trouble. The big coliseums were made for. You know, people to duke it out in. Astros win totals a lot. I mean, I can't believe... Uh, that's just... I don't know. That That's one of the worst scandals in sports that I've seen. Like, them cheating like that. With, like, webcams and hitting garbage cans. It's crazy. Steal in the other team's signs. There's a lot of people that have the saying, if you ain't cheating, you ain't winning. He shoots from the elbow. Hard off the rim. The lane, a little wider. In the Tecmo community, I know there's been cheating scandals with people using programs for play picker and using turbo to break tackles, stuff like that. We got a three-point game here. I kind of got away from college basketball in this one. Oh, that's a foul. Yeah, it's like the Patriots all greatest dynasty of this era, but it's, it's just littered with cheating scandals. But then there's the, the part of it that the media plays up these stories. Like the Brady deflated ball thing, that was just stupid. I, I didn't I didn't like that like that attack against them.
Crystal, you back? Five point game. The big man comes down to set the Yeah, I didn't watch the fight, McGregor Mayweather. I mean, it didn't make any sense to me. It was like, okay, Mayweather's a champion boxer. And McGregor's a UFC fighter. She's on the couch. There's a high percentage shot. Cheating used to be rampant in online taco. No, this is going to be my only one tonight, this game. It's almost done. No, I I don't cheat to win. Take my losses like a champion. Eight point game against Ohio State. Yeah, these these games are fun, win or lose. That's that's the way I look at it. I mean, sometimes when you really want to win and you're you're playing for competition, you can get salty, especially when you feel like the game does you in. Oh, nice little slip in. DPS, I don't know if he's out living like his 21st birthday. He's definitely been known. These guys got to stop calling timeouts here. This is not what I'm trying to do. I'm up nine points. Either hit some threes or let's get this game over with. Oh, a little mid-range. Um, basketball Classics is the Steam game that we've played on this channel before. They have their own Discord. And earlier... There was a post of like basketball from the 40s, and it was just unbelievable the way those guys would move and play. What the heck? How many timeouts these guys got? Is there a reason I don't play boxing games? It's really just because I didn't play a lot of them. I wasn't huge into the sport, and I'm not really good at them either. Um, what DPS? might start streaming pretty soon and he's good at boxing games or he likes playing them at least Number 11 to the charity strike. He buries it. XFL 2K I'm rooting for it I could see it happening they're going to prolong this game as long as possible they've just called four timeouts And Mort also likes boxing games. He used to play some of them on Sega. We have featured some of them. Which which ones would you want to see, Antonio? This is so annoying. I'm not going to miss one and one. This is crazy. They have one left still, too. The players got a much needed breather with that time out. Knockout Kings Fight Night, like I don't have any of them. It's kind of like when uh, the chat was talking about NASCAR the other night. I didn't have any NASCAR games. I'm not opposed to playing them, but I don't expect to ever get good at them. Sega Heavyweights? Yeah. That's a Mort game for sure. 
I mean, overall, this game is pretty good. Solid college basketball. I'm guessing 2K8 is probably better. But overall, I've had fun playing this. Graphics are solid. I, I'm having more and more issue with playing PlayStation or N64 graphics for sports simulation games at least. 5.3 seconds. Joe Kim. Going deep. Oh, Mort, he plays all, all retro. I haven't seen him play a modern game. Shout out to the LJC channel. My brother's going to be playing some Luigi's Mansion tonight, Lumberjack Cracks. I think he said he's starting at 12.30 a.m., so if you aren't asleep yet, go ahead, check it out. But, yeah, overall, this one, um, I could, I would put it in there as a game we could play for a tournament. It's not bad. I like the fight songs. Announcing's good. Solid gameplay. Not frustrating at all. Devin says NCAA Basketball 06 was the best one. It has retro mode, so so good. Man 14 is the newest game played. All right, guys. Thank you, everyone, for checking out the chat tonight. You know, of course, we'll be playing some more uh, retro sports games in the future. That's what we do here. Um, thanks for checking it out. We'll see you later. Take care.